365 days of horsemanship, day 154 and 155. So it's actually day 156 now and this week has been so busy I actually had to take two days off which was kind of annoying but um, I'm also just like so grateful that the days off it's like absence makes the heart grow fonder now um, and I definitely am excited then to come back I definitely feel the loss of not being with the horses on those days um, and that's a really awesome place to be so I'm gonna admit that I don't remember that much about these days but I'm hoping that as I try to talk about it that I will remember a little bit more I do know that on day 154 um, I took Mia into the arena I had this idea in my head that I would might have been day 155 anyway one of those days I took Mia in the arena I had a really interesting session with her where I put a longer line on her because we've still been playing with this pattern where basically we just go in the arena and we just walk around and I'm kind of getting a little bit bored of it now um, but I know that she's not really ready to go out um, with freedom-based training and maybe my, t my feeling timing is better now and it'll be okay for us to go out on our own and use dominant training to feel better uh, but I just well I just haven't to be honest um, so we're kind of still in the arena and so I thought that it might be fun to play with a little bit of distance with her instead and I played a little bit uh, so I put the longer line on and I came in and I started with uh the walking kind of around the track and actually it was really nice because i definitely felt like things were better than they had been and that she was more comfortable she was more relaxed she was more engaged uh she needed to stop less um definitely something i've noticed which is a really great thing to notice um is the thing that happens before she needs to stop uh is that her focus changes her focus will change from whatever we're doing to the environment to the herd to I guess to herself uh, and then she will stop so that's been kind of good because it means that as soon as she changes focus I then stop um, I do think that it's possibly feeding in a little bit to a pattern that we used to have that was quite challenging where if I said good girl she would stop in the middle of an exercise we're doing but I think that's more to do with me not breathing very well because definitely something that's I've always involved historically in my dominant training with her is when I breathe out that's for a, a downwards transition and, and that's you know fine I may yet change that we'll see um but i think that potentially it's more to do with that that when i would do those exercises that were difficult and then i would say good girl that would be the first time i'd breathe and so then she would stop so i'm hoping that by stopping when she's focus changing before she stops that i'm not reinforcing the pattern that i used to have but we'll see i think it's from what I understand at this point of my understanding, it's the best that I have. So it's good. Um, it, but it went well anyway. We didn't really get to play a lot with distance. I did play a little bit with lengthening the rope and then coming back in. And what I basically found was that she would take a little bit of the rope and then she would feel the need to come back in towards me and push me with her shoulder. And so I think that maybe that's just something that we just get to play with, where instead of forcing her out uh, before she's ready, we just play with her feeling better about well we just play with like being at different distances on that line and then anytime she feels better then that's a great moment i think the thing for me is like it's a great moment for a rest so then is that a great moment for a stop because then i'm still saying good girl and then stopping um 
yeah I don't know it's inter- it's an interesting one it's definitely definitely a good moment to change things I guess that's just then the moment why I come back towards her because that's what we've worked with so far um, and I just come and do something that she likes or I come and scratch her or something like that I don't know, we'll see. The other lovely thing on that day when we were in the arena was um, we played a little bit with the mounting. And this was something that felt really profound to me because we played with it quite a bit before she had gotten injured. And it was one of those things where it was a really slow process. And I was basically just trying to help her see me being on her back as simply being another place I could be in flow with her. Excuse me, and playing around with... um, moving to a new place of harmony and then not staying there too long with each new place of harmony being like a progressive part of the mounting process and it was really nice to come back to that and have it be better than ever that was really nice because it really felt like like historically when i played with really any horse with dominant training if i didn't play with them for a while i would come back and everything would be rusty and with freedom based training i feel like things just stay longer like they're just in deeper and they they stay better and everything that we've done since we played with mounting last has had a positive impact on how she felt about it that day and that was so encouraging because that really felt like that we were building on a foundation and that the foundation work was making this new question this old question asked in a new you know environment new context at a new time went better and that was really profound for me and really encouraging and I really enjoyed that feeling um yeah so it's a good session with her definitely I honestly can't say I remember much about the session with Lawrence um up until today the sessions with Lawrence have been interesting and challenging for me he's been very comfortable eating and it's been difficult to Uh, I say get any focus changes out of him but I recognize that even that itself is a juxtaposition of the point of freedom-based training Um, because the point is that the horse decides on their own not that you cause them to do anything Um, so yeah definitely I recall um, that we there was a lot of grazing and we basically I basically worked at different distances and I tried out um on let me think on Wednesday we tried um which would have been day 155 uh we tried out um getting in really close because I've been doing a lot of supportive leadership and the challenge with Lawrence is he kind of likes both um he quite likes the supportive leadership kind of soothes him into comfort when I'm looking out for lions and walking around and he also likes harmony and in most places he's pretty tolerant or pretty comfortable with me being there for a pretty long time before he really feels the need to make any changes that are so intense that I feel like I'm not welcome in that space And um, so I tried kind of the opposite of both of those things. Because even when I'm in harmony, I'm still pretty complimentary. I'm still looking out at the environment. So I tried really getting down to his level and looking at the grass next to him and being focused exactly on the same thing as him, which I don't really know if it made much of a difference or not. It was kind of like one of those sessions where I was felt like the whole time I was looking for something to happen. Um, But it was good. It was good. yeah it was definitely i feel like i'm pushing up at the moment against my own impatience and my own like taming of my wild like i feel like the thing that i really need now is longer sessions with them like when i'm here 15 minutes it's not doesn't feel like enough anymore to really make the changes that i'm looking for to be able to push through to the really good feelings um and yeah so that and that's hard for me because that means i have to push against my own 
I guess, self-discipline of wanting to like give up and be like, oh, that's good enough for today. That's enough for today. That's enough for right now. Um, so yeah, so it was good. It was definitely an interesting couple of days. Um, I had a super good day to day, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a minute. Um, so yeah, super, super good, super good.